Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Entertainment Dome one-shot. I'm your host Michael Beckwith and today I will be checking out the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo. No James unfortunately, he's busy, but I think it'll be interesting regardless to take a solo look through this demo because unlike everybody else apparently, I have no experience with the original Final Fantasy VII. So when they announced that they were doing like a whole fancy remake, uh, I wasn't there going, oh my god, they're remaking it! I was more like, huh, neat. So, I think it'll be interesting to check this game out as somebody with no prior experience. Well, I say no prior. I do know a lot about Final Fantasy VII's story and characters. I mean, it's kind of hard to not know about them at this point. Uh, still, it, it, I think it'd just be interesting to have like a fresh take, one that isn't mired by nostalgia from the previous uh, iteration. Not to say that people's nostalgia is a bad thing, of course, it's just I... It's, it's one thing I'm genuinely fascinated in seeing when this game finally comes out, is seeing how people who grew up with the original Final Fantasy VII and those who didn't react to it. I just wonder if maybe opinions will be drastically different. Uh, one thing I think we can all safely agree on is that god damn this game is pretty. And again, that's really something that Square Enix I feel has never had trouble with, even like some of their worst titles, or at least uh, not as uh, well-received titles like Final Fantasy XIII are pretty damn beautiful, all things considered. I should probably clarify as well, this is a completely blind run, I haven't tried the demo yet out at all. Uh, and I figured I may as well just record my first impressions, because I do want to try out the remake. That being said, I would like to play the original Final Fantasy VII beforehand, uh, just so I have a greater idea of what they've changed or what they've improved on, stuff like that. This is also mostly for James's benefit, I feel like I'm just recording this so that he can watch it, rather than me having to just do it. So, so he can catch my thoughts live, as it were. So this is for you, James! Man, if I did have nostalgia for this game, I probably would be crying right now. I've seen a lot of people's reactions to the demo when they played it, and they were all like, It's so beautiful! Get down here, Merc. Oh my god, it's Squall. Certainly knows how to make an entrance. Before we do any of that, though, uh... Oh, there are no settings. Never mind. Uh, oh god, I... Sorry, the camera controls are weird for me. Well, horizontal's fine. Uh, it's the vertical that's going to be bugging me over for a time being. That was a pretty damn seamless transition from gameplay to cutscene, and, and it just did it again! That's crazy! Okay, so square is a basic attack, and then holding square is like a... strong You're attack. With us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. no, no. Ooh! Wait, is the fight over? I, I barely figured out what I was doing! It's my command menus. Okay, so you got access to like your items and your spells right here from the get-go, that's handy. I've heard uh, the gameplay be compared to Kingdom Hearts, and even like at this early in the game, in the demo, yeah, I kind of see it. Maybe not as a uh, jumpy and flippy as Kingdom Hearts got, especially uh, later on in its life. Also, thanks for ditching me, guys. God.
Okay, so I've got to keep an eye on the ATP gauge because I can't attack otherwise. Which is, uh, I think that's like how the original game did it. Okay, so that was me holding down the button, so it did like a different kind of attack. That's interesting. Okay, so ATB is used for pretty much every kind of command in the game. Oh, when you go in... Oh, that's interesting. So when you press X, it, time slows down, so it gives you time to uh, pick what you want and who you're targeting. That's nice. Kingdom Hearts doesn't do that. That's very different. I wonder if you can change that, though, like uh, with the difficulty. Because I know that uh, classic difficulty... I think it just does that for the entire game. Uh, I'm not going to try that out because I would like to play the game how it's clearly intended to be played. Okay, so this is the actual menu which you can get by touching the uh, touchpad. It's just a map for the time being. Doesn't seem like there's anything else I can really do, so we may as well... Uh... Oh no, here's the stats menu, now I can access it. Okay, uh, future me, uh, edit this out while I do some tweaking. And we're back. Didn't want to spend too long checking out the uh, settings there, but there was a lot of options. I was kind of surprised, especially in regards to the camera and stuff, I guess, to make the game as uh, suited to each individual's preferences as much as it could. That was a sentence. You're coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Nope. Not who I wanted to attack, but whatever. Stop it! Okay, so the ATB gauge, you don't need to worry about... Uh, oh my god, Cloud! You don't... It doesn't... Uh, oh god, who got me there? Not sure how to feel about the combat at the moment. Like, it's not bad, I'm not going to say that, but I'm not sure it's going to take some getting used to. It is quite Kingdom Hearts, though. I do, I can see the comparisons. But yeah, I was saying, uh, the ATB gauge isn't spent on basic attacks, it's spent on, like, abilities and spells and stuff. I just want to just check the players out, just so I don't miss anything. Oh. Grenades? What? I can... What? Let's see if I can use this in the next fight. Wasn't really out of MP, but whatever. Oh. Take all the potions, though. May need those. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh... Uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional. Unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. I'm not here for your shenanigans. We're not friends. Get out of my face. God, you disgust me. Jesus, Cloud. You didn't, say, didn't even say anything. Here we go. Looks like people know this first. Right? Cloud? I guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Man, there's a, there's a lot of chatter there. Could have just asked me to move. You didn't have to do that, Barrett. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think. Not interested. What? Which? Uh. God, Barrett is a beefy bastard. Every last gear.
What was that? Nothing! And there's the trailer shot. So, uh, future me, please write note down who the voice actors are for Cloud and Barrett, because I cannot remember off the top of my head. Uh, I can't remember, uh, what is it, is it Biggs? I think it's Biggs. I can't remember what his voice actor's name is, but I know it's, uh, actually, let me just, uh, yeah, I can't use, <laughs> oh, just killing dogs now, okay, wow, Cloud, you're an asshole. Let me be honest, I'm not seeing much uh, reason to strategize at the moment. I know she can segue from. Uh, no, I didn't, didn't mean to do that. You can segue from like a standard basic combo to like the hold attack, like in the same combo, which is pretty neat. Nothing to it. But yeah, I can't remember uh, Cloud or Barrett's voice actor, so I'm going to put. Uh, I can't remember Big's voice actor's name, but I know uh, James told me that it's the same guy who voiced, uh... Oh crap, what's his name? I forgot... Balthier, I think, for Final Fantasy XII. Uh... Jesse, I think her name is. She's voiced by Erica Lindbeck. Yes, you were right, James. I'm sorry. And, uh, look up who Wedge's voice actor is, future me, please. Thank you. Yeah, at the moment, the combat isn't particularly difficult. I mean, I am playing on a normal, so I'm sure we'll ramp up, especially when we get to the boss. Yeah, don't expect me to block a lot. Like, when I play Kingdom Hearts, I, I very rarely block. I'm much more of a dodge man. Huh. Not so fast. We've got company. Do you think you guys could help like a little bit. Also, those dogs are horrifying. You know what? I don't mind killing them now. Okay, so. Oh, that was cool. I'm waiting. I'll try and lock on more often. Oh, I, oh, I just realised that I am low on health. Now. Oh my god! Bring it. Oh, you can't move while you're blocking. You got that's, that's helpful. That's interesting. So while you're blocking, you can go into atta into attack anyway. You don't have to hold. You don't have to release the bar before you attack. So Cla class basic combo sometimes feels like it goes on forever. No Not bad. Definitely need to pay more attention to my surroundings because I'm taking way too much damage. I noticed, like, because Cloud doesn't stagger when he takes damage, just slowly chips away at him, so it's very easy to not realize that you're, that you're, blah, it's very easy to not realize that you're being hit. I will say as well, like, uh, oh no, never fight. Um, this is definitely at least a lot more accessible than what Final Fantasy XV's combat was, because I tried the demo for that, and I just couldn't get used to it at all. Nothing to it. Was it with? Oh, I guess that, that was it. Because one well, of them more guys. I've got these potions, may as well start using some of them.
Are you gonna hold it down? That's so unnecessary. Why do some games feel the need to do this where it's like, oh, you gotta hold down the button to activate the lever. Why can't I just press the button? Well, why can't I go this way? What have I gone to go this way? Cloud? Okay, fine. Gotta say, I'm quite pleased with myself for not making any FF7 Machine Bridge jokes so far. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <clears throat> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Please stop yelling. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. See, if I had no experience with Final Fantasy VII whatsoever, I'd think Cloud's little headache bit there was a bit random, but I know what it means. The door open soon. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. Gotta say, these, this music's pretty damn good. I mean, the original was good anyway, but... Oh. oh, that's what the Punisher mode thing is. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, uh, okay, that gives you more of a reason to guard then in a Punisher mode, because he can uh, counter. Okay. We can take it. Make it right. Oh, he, he did stagger there. Honestly, I think I might prefer uh, normal mode, in all honesty. Was never in doubt. Relax, move. Took your time. Just what to say. Cut it out. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. Careful in there. <clears throat> well, what are you waiting for? Oh, a phoenix down. Nice. Hopefully won't need it, but you never know. Honestly, if the wrong button. MP is the last thing I really need at the moment. Might as well use another potion while I'm here. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Cloud, buddy. Tifa and I. He's so rude. <clears throat> Meanwhile. Sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. I gotta say, I love the fact that President Shinra just looks like a guy. Like he just looks like a normal person. you sit? It's here sucking up, Mako! It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Marco Allow me to explain it for the Marco. sake of the audience! The planet bleeds green like you and me I like play. that. I like that they shrug as if she's like, oh, yeah, he's just gonna do this for a bit. Me. 
You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight! Clouds has no tolerance you know. for your bullshit, Barrett. <laughs> Say that again. Here's me though, Cloud's tough. Like he's a strong guy, but I feel like Barrett could just crush his head like a walnut if he wanted to. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. Hint, hint. Players Barrett, nudge, nudge. Just bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Should have asked for more money. <laughs> Not gonna lie, some of this dialogue's actually pretty funny. <laughs> hey, I can play as Barrett now, nice. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. I'm actually playing as him, okay. Oh, he's got like a uh, temporary reduced damage take and how easily you are interrupted. Try that out in a sec. Ow! Rude! Now for the real show. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. I am not good at this game. Fortunately, the enemies are weak, so they're not doing that much damage. Wait, how do I... Where the hell is it? Oh my god, still... May need to go back in the settings to sort out this lock-on thing. Also, how do I switch characters? I thought it... I know I saw it! Up or down all that... Oh, there we go. It's up and down. Not... Shut up and move over. <laughs> oh, okay. I switched to Cloud the moment the enemy took to the sky and I couldn't hit it. Son of a... Right, uh, edit here. Gonna do some quick uh, messing around with the settings. Give me a moment. Okay, never mind. I thought there was an option there to sort out uh, locking onto enemies. Because, like, I would lock onto enemies, but the camera wouldn't focus on them, so I thought that was getting a bit weird for me. what we have here. The laser security system. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah, figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me! Okay, so there's a dash thing that we can do. Oh, I was checking the menu, I noticed that Barrett has thunder magic, so that's going to be helpful for later. Yeah. It would be very embarrassing if I just took so many hits. Damn you boxes! Reveal to me your contents! <laughs> Have we finally found something that Cloud's Buster Sword can't break? Cardboard boxes? That's its one weakness. I think that... I, 
I'm gonna be honest, going back to Barrett real quick, I know, I've heard that some people apparently aren't fond of his characterization uh, in this game. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like it. Like, he's just so loud and passionate that apparently some people are reading that as a bit of a bit of a stereotype, uh, considering, and uh, they're not entirely wrong. Like, apparently in the original game, Barrett's entire personality was stereotypical black man. Oh, oh God. And now the lasers are punishing me for it. Why? There we go. Yeah, like I've heard that in the original game, he was com very blatantly compared to Mr. T. So, I thing is though, I think it's a bit too early to judge how Barrett's going to be handled in this game. I'll just, we'll have to wait until like the full... Uh, well, the thing is, it's going to be a while until the full game's out, because they're splitting it up into parts. But I'm sure once we get to scenes of uh, like Barrett's backstory and his interactions with his daughter, uh, we'll see that he's not just, you know, loud black man. I probably will play with Cloud for the most part. Like, I don't mind playing with Barrett, but I think I'm probably... Uh, have a much easier time with clouds, though I'll probably switch to Barrett whenever the situation calls for it. They don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Oh lord, mini boss, I've got to actually try now. Oh wait, we're not in battle. I was trying to switch characters. Why did the camera change like that? That was not helpful. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Good thing I've got magic. Oh, and he has cure as well. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh well, guess I'm stuck doing this. Sorry, I was reading all that in my head. So we knock it down again. No time to complain. Don't overdo it. Need my help, do you? That's not the idea. Oh, no, wrong buttons. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting that X is what gets these up? Yeah. Wasn't Staggered a thing that Final Fantasy XIII did? It's been a very long time since I've actually played that game. Now's our chance. Go. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. Is I'm going to check something here, so... Yeah, spell magic is dictated not just by the ATB gauge, but also your MP bar. So that's something else you gotta take into account. First. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the twenties. <laughs> the hell you talking? <laughs> I'm in your age, not the same as his age. Mm-hmm. Guess that makes you a one year old, huh? Live and learn. These guys are grown ass men that are part of an eco terrorist unit and they're bickering like school children. I love it. Like, I love how Cloud had like no response to that. He was like, I was asking about your age. Uh. How is Cloud? How old is Cloud meant to be? Because honestly, in JRPGs and anime, he could be 12 for all I know. Well, gee, this doesn't look like a boss arena at all. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Yeah, before we do that, I'm gonna make sure they're all uh, healed up. Yeah, we could uh, probably do a bit of healing. Don't wanna go into this boss. Uh, even though I seem to be doing pretty okay for the most part. Barrett could do with some more MP though. I think God damn! I can practically taste the mako in here. Hurry it up! The only thing is, like, I actually no, I do use magic quite a bit in Kingdom Hearts, but that's because, uh, at least in Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3, you had the MP charge thing, so once you ran out of magic, it would slowly charge back up again. I don't think that's going to be a feature here. Like I'm 
about this for years. I remember reading somebody uh, complaining about how the characters just keep talking, like there's very little uh, moments where they're just quiet, and I do kind of see where they're coming from. I personally don't mind the banter, I'm honestly quite enjoying it, and I wanted to check that out, Jesse, but whatever. Uh, I enjoy it, but I do kind of get where they're coming from. Sometimes you just need a moment where the character... Because if, if the character just keep talking, it starts to become like, oh, just shut up. I'm sure that will calm down a bit once we get to later portions of the game, because, like, this is the opening section. Job's a job. <laughs> Oh, what the? I was just, I was just tapping square, and he does an air combo. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Take the lead. I fight probably could have gone a bit better. I was panicking quite a bit. I'm not used to the lock on thing. It feels a bit weird. Okay, at the moment I'm not locked out. Now I am. Okay, I think it. It says fire. Does that mean they're weak to fire? Oh my god! They're barely any time to react. Hey, did you see me in action? Must have missed it. Yeah, I've normally I hoard like healing items and be careful with them, but considering how often I, I'm taking damage so far, I probably uh plus I got a ton of potions anyway. Probably afford to be a bit more uh You know what I mean. Oh, he's so excited to blow up a reactor. You wanna blow up a reactor, Barrett? You wanna destroy the whole thing? By the way, where the hell did Jesse go? Did she just stay up there? She must have stayed up there. Alright, let's see if little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! <sighs> this wasn't in my contract. You didn't sign a contract! Oh damn, why didn't I sign a contract? Ah, uh, headaches, am I right? Oh, I get it! I know what that means! It's gonna be crazy knowing that there's like a generation of players who are gonna go into Final Fantasy VII Remake with no knowledge of the original game and have their minds blown the by some of this game's plot twists. Don't give us more time to get us out of here. That long enough for you? I don't want to get blown up with it, Barrett. Uh -huh. You double crossing. Heads up. What in the hell? That thing moves fast for something so big and made of metal. Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Huh. No other option, huh? Oh. Don't overdo it. Need my help, do you? I've got no ATV, crap. Oh my god. Better win 
hard. This music's so good. Oh, cl it, I just realized it got clouds. Oh. At least, like, your AI pipe members, at least so far, are, you know, useful. Might take a barra actually for this fight. Probably would prefer it if he was attacking me more than Cloud, because Barra, I think, is probably take hits a lot better. Oh my god! I still can't get over how seamlessly, like, it switches between cutscenes and gameplay. It's crazy to me. Oh. They interrupt me? Friggin' hell. Oh my god. Man, thank god we can take missiles to the face. Why isn't this thing dying? Do I need to use thunder again? Oh, it's immune! Hang on, I think I saw something else. Ah, field generator. Okay, we gotta target that thing. Oh. What am I doing wrong here? There's something I'm missing. Oh, there's no, there's a cloud's running really low on health. Oh, you need ATB to use items as well. Okay. Oh, no! Okay, I think that okay, the, whatever that was generating the seal seems to have gone down. I don't know how I did that. I just was just randomly hitting things. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I just, I'm just really enjoying this dialogue. Ah, oh, this. Why is it when I switch characters, the camera changes like the most inopportune angle? Oh no, that was bad. No, it's okay. I can take a, I can take a bit more. The camera keeps going, snapping behind Barrett when I switch to him, and it's like I don't need it behind him, or I can't see the enemy. We gonna let 
this thing keep pushing us around? I don't think so. Okay, it didn't uh, stop me from using my potion, which is uh, nice. Oh my god. Okay, whatever I was doing, it worked. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So, what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. I definitely need to get better at blocking and dodging because I think I'm taking too much damage than I reasonably should. I just learned it back. Did Barry get some MP back? Cloud, can I stay here with you? Bring it on. Now, get in there and do some damage. That was such poor timing. Oh my God! Stop it! I like the uh, fact that you have to hide behind uh, some debris in order to uh, avoid the, uh, that attack. It helps to keep the fight slightly more interesting and engaging. Oh my god, stop it! Oh no, no! How much dialogue do they record for this fight? Oh my god, finally! Christ! Wait a second. Take damage and staggering commands fills your limit gauge. Oh, I can use my limit! When your gauge is full, you can use limit attacks. You do not need to spend 18 hours to use these attacks. Okay, how, how, how do I use my limit? In fact, where even is like the limit attacks? Oh, there it is, that yellow bar. Okay. Oh, that was nice. Can I get clouds off as well before this fight's over? Probably not. Not a repair you. Damn it. 
We gotta take it out quick or we're screwed. <laughs> oh, I am way ahead of you, Murphy. Oh my god, stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! Oh my god, no! Come on. Don't let up. It's down. Rain hell on it. Yeah. Oh my god, die already. That fight was long. I remember James saying he didn't found... James, from the way he described it, made it sound really easy, but that was a tough fight. I mean, I didn't die. I had enough potions on hand to keep me going. Yeah, at this rate, we didn't even need the bomb. This this thing's gonna blow up the reactor without our help. Bet you're glad now I said it for 30 minutes, aren't you, Barrett? Huh. You hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. <laughs> Maybe I should pay the Scorpion for destroying the reactor. Uh, okay, you can climb ladders fast by holding down R1 as well, okay. Man, I'm glad Barrett knows the way, because I know I'd get super lost. I forgot to mention as well, actually, towards the end of the fight, the fact that, uh, no, I ain't, no, I don't want to fight, get away! Uh, but, uh, when towards the end of the fight, like, the, the, the lighting, with the, uh, why am I climbing the ladder? I, I can't climb the ladder, oh my god, I can't climb the ladder, I've got to fight these things, get away from me! Okay, can I climb the ladder now? Please say I can climb the ladder. Jesse, why are you still here? Why didn't you get out? Well, guess I gotta be the big hero. How kind of the timer to like stop during cutscenes. The bomb's very gracious like that. It's sort of like, oh, hang on, having a dialogue. Oh, I'll stop. I'll stop for now. But once you once you go back to gameplay, I'm gonna start counting down again. Oh no! The... And thank God I was going the right way for a second. I was like, wait, this is the way she was saying to go, right? Don't look back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not looking back. Thanks for fading, fading from existence slightly, Jesse, so I can climb the ladder. Oh my! Did I get stuck there for a second? We're running out of time. Shut up and climb. You're not helping. Sorry, it just it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have oh, there we go. Justification for why nobody shuts up. Also, now that I think about it, how did the scorpion robot activate the bomb by? D oh, whatever. Don't think about it. There it. I've got you covered. Find us a way out of here. But then. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got soldiers. 
Your boy with me. X, soldier boy. They're here! Take them down! We don't have time for this shit! The clock's ticking! Cool. Five seconds is all we need. Is it? <laughs> To be fair, like, not even three minutes have passed since the bomb went and got triggered, so I think we could be fine. Oh my god! Leave me alone! Ugh. I also just noticed you don't actually need the uh, ATB gauges to be full entirely. In order to use the abilities, as long as you've got enough of it, it's it's uh, you can use uh, stuff like um, Cloud's Braver and shit like that. So long. Don't overdo it. Yeah, I'll do it. There you go. Now it does it. Feel free to die any second now, please. Oh my god, why won't you? Come on, he's got only a little bit of health left. There we go. Oh, Cl Cloud, you're looking a little rough there, buddy. Definitely need to get better at blocking and dodging. Wait, no, I don't have time for that. Crap, there's a bomb. Oh, and isn't that. It's a demo, who cares? If this was the full game, maybe. Did that hit it or did it just go into the wall? I can't tell. Come on. For a second I thought Sofa would jump, but it didn't. No. That was easy. At least they got rid of the laser walls. That'd be so irritating if you had to do that shit as well. You're trying to get out. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> and I missed. Seriously, what the hell are these things? Shock troopers? Oh no, R1's oh, the guards. What did I think L1 was? It's all that yuckers I've been playing. Oh my god! Oh my god, that did you see that was a counter attack? That was so cool. How about you heal me, Barrett? You have cure! Get 
No time to celebrate. God, I was getting a little bit stressed there. Wait, how do I get out? Which way? Which way did I come in? Oh, there we go. Right. Oh. If the prop wasn't appearing, so I was like, oh, uh, am I going the wrong way? Oh, and suddenly it went down to three seconds. Okay, whatever. Yeah, the game gives you plenty of time. I think even if you only did 20 minutes, it'd be enough. So this is, okay, I remember because James told me this, that unlike the original, the bomb doesn't do enough damage, so Shinra blow it up themselves. Okay, seeing it now, because I remember it get, when James told me about it, I was a little bit iffy because I thought like, oh, is it them trying to pull a George Lucas on this and not make avalanches morally suspect as they were in the original game, but it... It's not as bad as I thought it was. At the same time, though, it does seem like a very odd change, and it feels like it only exists to make Shinra look even more evil than they already are. Like, why not have Avalanche's bomb blow up and take out the reactor? Makes me a little bit anxious about what else they could change. Like, not necessarily for the better. Like, in many respects so far, the changes are appreciated, like Big, Swedge, and Jesse. Oh my, oh my god, speaking of. If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. Feels like out of all three, Jesse's getting a lot more of screen time. I wonder, wonder why they did that. And then again, maybe Biggs and Wedge get a bit more to do uh, later on in the main game. But yeah, so Big, Swedge, and Jesse get a lot more focus. Uh, it looks like the Shinra executives are going to get a bit more okay, characterization as well. Cool. I, I love that bit, by the way, because I know Cloud has a bit of a reputation for being a bit of a mopey asshole, when that's not really his characterization in the original FF7, at least not in like the first half of the game. Oh my god! But uh, I like the fact that Jesse says like, oh that's so cool, and Cloud has this little bit of a smirk of like, yeah I am, like he loves it. So that's nice. Oh, is, is this meant to be like a uh, next time on Final Fantasy 7? <laughs> Want to know what's going on here? Buy the full game! Yeah, okay. I, I suppose at this point I may as well sum up my thoughts so far. Like, I am going to say, like, okay. It's definitely good. Yeah, that's all I can really say. Uh, I may give the demo another go just so I can get a better understanding of the combat because I'm, I'm going to be honest. I found it almost like overwhelming, like it almost, I don't know, something the way it's handled makes it very easy to take pot shots from enemies constantly. Like I know, I think I was taking a lot more damage than I really should have, especially during the boss fight. I think uh, I wasn't quite doing what the game wanted me to do. And that's partly because my attention is like, obviously, I want to talk over this, and but also I'm trying to play the game, but you all, you all know, you already know. But yeah, that was very enjoyable. I don't, I... I still don't know if I'll actually get the full game or not. I'm almost tempted to just wait until all the parts are out and then maybe start buying it. Or the like I said, I definitely want to, at the very least, play the original FF7 before I even think about touching the remake. But yeah, thing is though, I can see why all the people who grew up playing the original are so in love with it. It definitely looks like, because it could have been so easy for this whole project to completely fall apart, but I think, judging on this demo, I think it's safe to say that the remake is its going to be a good game. I don't think we need to worry about that at the very least. So yeah, I may as well sign off here. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, see you in another video. Take care!